Well, hello, y'all. I haven't posted an update video in a while. I haven't really been doing much in the mower department apart from selling a couple of things here and there every week since I've last checked in. Um, most of the work's been going on in the house, but um, I'm getting pretty close to a thousand subscribers, so I just want to at least periodically kind of just keep y'all updated on what my plans are and what has been going on in terms of selling mowers, selling equipment, and what I'm thinking about doing in the future. Um, I've got, like I said, I've been working on the house, so I've actually got my patio furniture in here because we're putting a screened-in porch on the side of the house. Um, but most of it's just kind of been cleaning out stuff around here. If you notice that my riding mower jack is gone, I ended up it was one of those Harbor Freight ones that you could get with a coupon for like 75 I posted it for 60 and it left within about two hours and had probably about 300 views um, in just that amount of time, which was kind of crazy because I thought that $75 mower jack selling for 60 was very fair. And the um, reason why I got rid of it was because I didn't need it anymore. I had had it about four years and used it twice and uh, probably for about the year or so that I was still working on riders before I just transitioned to doing push mowers um, since I didn't have really the time or the space to really mess with riders as much. Um, just trying to remember what I had since the last update. I had those bikes that I got are gone. Um, the generator still won't leave. I figured that I'll probably have to wait until a storm comes or something like that in order to get this thing going. It starts, runs great still. Um, no issues with the runnability of it or anything, just the cosmetic stuff with the bushing and the um, little bit of a gas tank split right there at the uh, bolt hole or where you mount it to the frame. Um, so I think I've pretty much got to wait for hurricane or something to come in order for that thing to leave but you never know I might get lucky um, I've, on average I've been selling I've got these out because I, I want to make a video on the corded weed eaters that I have for sale um, and I before they all get gone um, I've been selling about an average of about one to two of these a week um, just the corded items that I have, whether it be a hedge trimmer, battery operated weed eater, or corded weed eater. So it's been, they're trick, they're slowly trickling away, and we'll go into the uh, lean to on the side of the house, just or on the side of the garage, um, just kind of see what's going on there. Um, so mostly, like I said, just cleaning out things, getting things going. What I ended up doing is putting that pressure washer engine that I had in my last video. Um, onto a mower deck because there was a um, split o-ring on it and it was just more effective for me to do that and I ended up selling the hose and the, the wand to it and ended up getting about was, uh, 70 for the mower and 20 for that so right around 90 dollars for that um, I've had two mowers come in from trades one of them was that bent shaft Toro ended up getting rid of for around a hundred and I think I, I think I sold it for 140 and then the Husqvarna was around 150 160 I believe so good money off of just a couple of small trips there um, everything's going pretty well I've we'll go into the lean to I'll turn the light on here um, I'll show you that my, my box, my one little box of things is getting smaller. Um, I ended up selling the real mower. I ended up selling the um, Echo SRM230 hedge trimmer, or excuse me, weed eater that I had. Um, that went really quick after I put the head on it, the correct head on it. Um, got a hundred bucks out of it. Um, and all these gas cans came from one of my uh, donors that I uh, was moving. Um, as you can see, the I have four of the items in the um, 
garage but as you can see the box is getting a little bit thin I sold a hedge trimmer today and I've still got 11 of those so it'll take me a while to sell them ended up selling one of these corded weed eaters which was the first one that I have sold I knocked I knocked all of my corded weed eaters down to $15 um, ended up selling the last one of the blower weed eater bundles that I had for the 20 volt and so now I'm down to two weed eaters still in the box with the charger and battery and I've got a third one right here that just needs a um, I've got a battery I just need to find a charger for it um, have one scheduled to go out this week so hopefully I'm down to one on that um, the snapper it'll get back going here later on this summer I'll have to show you all some mowing action on it I love love riding it still got the bagger for it um, my dad had to weld a little bit because I was bagging so much pine straw it was actually it actually bent the metal down um, put a tire tube in the wheel or in the um, wheelbarrow here that's coming handy with all the uh, plants and whatnot that I've got to trim back and whatnot around here um, and like I said I've just been kind of cleaning up a little bit it's been pretty relaxing um, and I guess I at least want to end this video. We just had a storm pass through, so it's a little bit rainy and whatnot. But um, in this video, by thanking all of you all for subscribing over these past, I guess I've been going at this for over two years now. So from the first video of me um, under my previous house showing the 40 plus push mowers that I had under there, um, and starting the whole endeavor of selling 40 um, plus push mowers from Walmart, Walmart customer returns, to today where I've expanded to the electric lawn and garden stuff just to kind of test it out. And it's tested out pretty well. Um, the corded stuff doesn't really sell very well. The, cord, the cordless does. But you kind of, I guess you kind of uh, roll the dice with the cordless, hoping that they have batteries and chargers. The corded stuff is cheap, but it's pretty reliable that you're going to have everything that you need as long as you have your little um, grass cover uh, on the weed eaters and whatnot. Um, if I lived in a more populated area, then I probably would sell, would have already sold all of these. But um, since I live about an hour of outside of a major, I guess a major metropolitan area for North Carolina, that is, um, in the Raleigh area, not really many people are venturing out my way um, to get you know fifteen twenty dollar items. Although I do get people that come from a good hour plus sometimes to get things. Um, Next video I want to do is compare all these weed eaters, the corded and the cordless one that I still have left, just to throw it in there, just to kind of give you all a good comparison of that. Um, and then one thing, if you all are still watching this video, I want to ask for some feedback. I have been toying around with the idea of expanding my assortment of what I sell to include possibly tools, um, not like big saws or anything like that, but just kind of a lot of hand tools and small stuff, kind of like the drills and whatnot that I had earlier in the year, um, things of that nature, and automotive stuff, kind of like the jump starters that I had because they sold so well. So um, just give me feedback if y'all would like to see me expand in the future, and if you think it would be financially responsible. Um, or give me reasons to, give me reasons not to. I, would, I mean, I'm still going to continue the mowers. Um, and I hope to continue to make more videos, especially since I'm very close if I haven't eclipsed a thousand subscribers yet, which I'm very thankful for. So thank you all for all the support. Um, but what do you all think? Should I expand? Um, or would you like me just to continue the bread and butter so to speak and I know 
that the bread and butter mowers works. I know that the cordless stuff works. The hyper tough home light cheap stuff doesn't really work, so I'm probably not going to venture into buying any more of those. Um, but we'll see. We'll see uh, what time brings and um, what ends up coming about with what uh, with what I've got going on. Um, as I continue to increase my parts arsenal and just kind of build a little bit of a following around this area where I've had a couple of repeat buyers and whatnot. So just give me some feedback. What would y'all like to see more of? Um, what would y'all like to see less of? I'm going to try and minimize the talking and actually do some doing work here whenever I actually have stuff coming along. So thank y'all for watching. I'm a little over 10 minutes now, so I'm going to end the video here. I just wanted to give uh, y'all a little bit of an update since I have been off YouTube for a little bit and I haven't really um, posted any videos. So, again, I started about with about 43 mowers and about 80 some odd of just corded and cordless items um, at the beginning of the summer or in the beginning of the year, down to about, I guess, around 20 items now. So, thank you all for the support. Like I said, I'm going to get this corded um, weed eater video up here in the near future. Um, and have a great July 4th week, uh, around the time this is posted. It's around July 4th. And thank you all for watching. I'll stay tuned. Y'all stay tuned. And I'll catch you on the next one.